Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Lurme Shady World. In this video, I will show you how we can create our box plot. So let's get started. Here I have taken a sample superstore data and from there the ordered sheet. And these are the columns within that sheet. I would like to create a box plot based on some, let's say, ship mode and the sales. So first, let's drag the ship mode. Now drag sales to the rows. I would like to swap this. And now go to the show me. And from there, let's click on this box and whisker plot. Once you click, you can see this box plot has been created for the ship mode and the sales. Right now it's in an aggregated format. Let's say I want to see this ship mode based sales for all the regions. So now drag this region to the columns. Here you can see that for every specific region, this box plot has been created for the ship mode and their respective sales. And for every box plot, you will see there is a difference in the distribution of the data. So now let's again swap this and you will have this in some horizontal manner. I would like to increase the area of this box plot graph that is created. So let's drill a little down. Okay, the size has been little improved. Now the next is I want to change the color of this. So click anywhere over to this plot and right click and here you will see the format go to the format and in this fill change the color of this so you can easily have the color that you want i would like to keep this more transparent so that the inner dots which uh, is being represented i want to define it clearly so i will reduce as much as i can and uh, which is more visible and colorful at the same time so this is how i have it looks better right now and for whisker, let's say I will keep the whisker in in dark uh, shade. Yeah, that is also good. Um, borders as well with this. Yeah, that is fine. So now I'm good with this. Uh, simply, I want to change the size of this uh, balls. Uh, that is a points which is defining something for us. We will see in after this. So let's increase a little bit the size of this points and also. Uh, I would like to change the color. Let me change it to the green. Uh, it's too big for me right now. So let's decrease the size. Okay, so this is how uh, we have created little improvement over to this format and uh, highlighted all the regions and their specific values with going to the format and change the style and everything as much as the way you want. So this is how we created the box plot. So now let's understand what is the meaning, what is this box plot states you. So yeah, if you right click over this and go to the edit, here you have this whisker extended to the data within 1.5 times to the IQR. So IQR stands for interquartile range. You can also make it maximum extent of the data. So it will also include your outliers. Right now, there are no outliers. So if anything beyond this last whisker area, beyond this, it will considered to be the outliers. So for this data, we don't have any outliers. It's everything ranging between the max and the mean value. For this, IQR is between these two range where we have this particular point is the lowest uh, hinge, which we say is as Q1. And Q1 is right now 39 uh, 1581 for this central this is states as q3 q3 is for the upper hinge which is 2000 2 so that is the upper hinge the one in between this this color difference it states this is one is the median and these are the points which are within this range or or you can say within the distribution of Q1 and Q3, this is called the median. So anything which is this, this is actually the extended, which is the whisker and say the upper whisker, which is the max value could be uh, that is 3 lakh 1000, uh, sorry, 18,528. 
and the lowest among this is 20,415. So this is how you can have your box plot and their understanding. And this states that if anything, if you if you create a kind of a bell-shaped curve, then this is the extended version says this is a skewed data, skewed on particular range. So you can have your mean value also more than your median value. So this is how you can simply understand and this box plot is usually un, uh, required or it's always utilized when you want to understand your data and their distribution whether the distribution of the data is normal or not so for all these consideration we create such kind of a box plot for your analysis on your data i hope you like this video if you really like then do like share and subscribe to my channel for more such video please hit on the bell icon thank you so much for watching See you on the next one.